I am so incredibly proud of myself for getting my washing done today and for going to the gym. I have just spent the last two or three days on the couch so down and feeling sorry for myself and just being a big old sook and it's gotten to the point where I'm just sick of myself, I'm sick of my excuses. I feel like I just go through waves of feeling like this sometimes, like I just feel so down for no reason. I know it always passes and I know I always feel like I feel right now, I'm just sick of everything and just want to actually get off my bum and do something. So today was a good step in the right direction. I just went to the gym and did my first session of the week um, but I'm about to run into a public restroom, get changed into my bikini and go for a sunset swim. It's been raining for the last like week on the Gold Coast and so I just haven't been for an ocean dip in a hot minute and I can tell my mental health whew, down, massive decline when I'm not in the ocean so I'm so excited Lang's coming with me to start my week off on the right foot. Just wash and blow dry my hair. <sighs> I'm a hot, sweaty mess. But I've decided I'm gonna do the leggings, heatless curls again. Because I feel like whenever I wash and blow dry my hair and then go to sleep, it wakes up messy anyway. So I may as well just give this another go. I already feel kind of claustrophobic. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is going on? I will say I feel fantastic after my sunset swim. Can I also just say from an Australian Swifty, I am seeing everyone on TikTok posting their Taylor Swift tour outfits. And I'm so happy for everyone who gets to see her soon but i am jealous you're telling me she hasn't even announced international dates yet that kills me and like australia will be the last place she comes because that's how every concert works ever although i'm here patiently waiting ready to follow her around australia because can you believe that i've never seen taylor swift live before when she was touring last i was just too young which breaks my heart because if there's any concert i need to see it's taylor swift one half done second side done Oh, I can't. I don't think I've ever looked better. Good night. I never showed you my final product of my hair, but it's now straight. So, kind of a flop. But I have a big pile of clothes on my bed from Princess Polly's Curve Range. I'm going to give you a little haul. They've very kindly sponsored this weekly vlog and given me a discount code. So you can use the code GR20. We'll save you 20% off. I will also leave a link to everything that I show you down below along with my sizing if that is helpful. And also wanted to let you know that they offer free express shipping on all Australian orders over $60, which is stunning. Look at this bag I got. Ow. Winston loves it. I love it. I've needed a beige crossbody bag for a while. That's going to fit everything. <laughs> I'm just showing you a big black hole. It's gonna fit everything that I need to in it. Another little pocket on the front. It's got silver detailing and I just love it. This is like the longest length it goes on me. I'm gonna get so much wear out of this, okay? I am obsessed with this shirt. I've already worn it once. I did spill my entire coffee over it the first time I wore it and it did come out in the wash. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it. And if it didn't, I really was gonna reorder it because I'm obsessed with it. It is labeled as oversized and it's not lying. I tend to not believe when things say that the oversized sized and just size up anyway. I feel like I shouldn't have sized up in this because it is huge but it says send nudes on the front and then it has a big bowl of noodles on the back. <laughs> And I love it. I got this in a size 20. I feel like I should have gotten an 18. Even a 16 probably would have fit me really oversized. It is kind of a dress. <laughs> It's literally a dress. There's nothing I love more than when brands say you're oversized and they mean it. This is a phenomenal vibe. Can we all take a moment for this top? Oh, 
no also riley hempson on the website sells me on everything it's kind of great kind of dangerous my favorite thing about this top is that the back is just not even like a ruched material it's just stretchy and then we've got a little corset vibe at the front these straps are adjustable if you saw my last princess poly haul you probably saw a lot of tops like this i feel like i've just been building up my cute top collection because i have so many plain bottoms to pair fun tops with the floral lacing along the top kills me it's way too cute i did get this skirt to kind of go along with that top but as i said plain bottoms to go along with cute tops i recently got this skirt in white and i wore it to the harry styles concert and i love it it fits me like a glove and it's everything that i want in a plain black skirt i think this is the final piece in my plain bottom collection i get so scared buying shoes online but these are so cute i love that they give you a bit of height without being a heel because i'm not really a heels gal i'm a slides gal sometimes slides are just too casual to wear out to a fancy environment and i feel like these are just the perfect middle ground i was talking about my instagram story the other day and everyone crazy asking me where it was from which i honestly get because i love it so much it's this little boob tube top and i've already worn it once i wore it to therapy because it's just a cute comfy fit for me to sit on the couch and, just, and cry i love the color of brown i love the little tie up knot it's so stretchy so it's so comfortable. I just know I'm gonna get so much wear out of this. And also seeing myself in this color, I'm like, why do I not wear brown more often? Because it's so cute. This black silky dress really caught my eye and I'm obsessed with it. Wow. This is another item that I sized up in and I probably shouldn't have. I love the deep V. I love the satin feel. I just needed a little black dress in my wardrobe because I didn't have one. And this has ticked all of the boxes. I do think because I sized up, it's a little bit too long on me. I'm a short gal with a short torso recipe for disaster so my friend's gonna hem it for me because it's a little bit too long for my liking but i'm so happy to have a little black dress in my collection if you watched any of my europe vlogs you would have seen me wear this dress every second day i would say and i love it so much that i wore it to death it has so many stains i needed a new one because i'm so obsessed with it and it works so well for every occasion i wore this in italy stunning i wore it in paris with a blazer stunning i'm convinced this dress can do no wrong <laughs> it has thin adjustable straps this little bow at the front you can have that as loose or as tight as you like it needed a repurchase lastly but by no means least i got a beige linen blazer yeah i have one blazer already it's black and i've worn it so many times therefore i needed it in a new color and i feel like beige and linen is just a beautiful combo i know i'm gonna get so much wear out of this i sized up in this one as well and i'm glad that i did i got this in a 22 just because my jackets and overshirts and stuff just have to be very big to be oversized and this is so comfortable i think it's so cute i'm gonna get so much wear out of it but that is everything that i picked up and another thank you to princess polly for working with me on this weekly vlog it's currently 3 p.m so i think i'm gonna chuck on some bike shorts to go with this oversized tee and take a listen to the beach we've been loving going to the beach before sunset time because there are hardly any dogs around whoa 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 the beach flags still up therefore people can't take their dogs near the flags which means there's hardly any dogs around and that's great for winston and i to just decompress and enjoy some time alone adventuring without the issue of Winston getting riled up by all the dogs. it's cloudy like I want to stay really positive and be like it's still so nice to get up early and it might still be a good sunrise but like it took everything in me to get out of bed this morning Ugh. I'm more just shocked that the weather app is wrong to be honest but I bought my little beach rug and my beach basket brought my journal I'm gonna sit here and just journal some thoughts and we'll see if the sun even rises behind these clouds <laughs> But it was
use just because I was having a head down, bum up kind of day. And I was so productive. And I haven't had a day like today in what feels like a very long time. And not that I'm trying to like value my worth and my productivity, but the fact that I've just been so lazy and not being able to like convince myself to do anything. The fact that I got so much stuff done today, I wrote a full to-do list and I ticked almost everything off makes me feel so good and just like really proud of myself, which again, I haven't felt in what feels like a really long time. So I'm super stoked. I'm having a bit of a late night, mainly only late because I have to get up so early in the morning. It's 10.30 and I have to wake up at 5.45 because Sophie's coming down to spend the day with me. We're going to go for a morning swim together, which is probably one of my favorite ways to start the day. I need to get to bed, so I will see you tomorrow. Hello, hello. Wow, my voice has kind of been a bit random over the last couple of days that I haven't vlogged one bit. Why does it kind of sound raspy? Kind of sexy at the same time. I don't understand why it sounds like that because I have not been screaming. I don't feel like I'm getting sick. I just randomly sound like this. So I'm just gonna enjoy it while it's here. That is Winston being a little bean sleeping on the bed. First things first, I just got a new case to my case. Oh, why is it literally so cute? It has rainbow boobs all over it. Literally, what more could you ask for? <sighs> I just walked upstairs and I'm puffing. I'm also just finishing my second coffee of the day and it's 2 p.m. So hopefully I sleep tonight, but I've seen a few people do this online recently and I was so easily and quickly influenced that I've just gone and done it. I bought some temporary tattoos. These are from Easy Tat online. I don't know if there's somewhere else better to get them. I don't know how they'll go yet, but yeah. You know, if you don't know already, I do have tattoos and I hate them so much. I'm not a impulse crazy person who like makes decisions like on the spot. I tend to really like to overthink everything I do in my life. And the tattoos that I have, I did not overthink. And I wish I did because I wouldn't have gotten them if I did. I've had like five sessions to get them removed and they're still not gone yet. And I just thought that because I had bad tattoos, I didn't like how they looked in my body. I would never get a tattoo ever again. And then recently, I don't know what's come over me, but I all of a sudden just really want some tattoos. But they're ones I've been thinking about for months and months and months. The issue is I don't know where I want to put them. I have a trip booked in for May to go to Melbourne and visit my friend Gemma and we're going to go get some tattoos while I'm there. So it's all booked in, the deposit is paid, it's happening. I just need to decide where I want them. And I thought temporary tattoos would be the perfect way to try this out. These aren't the tattoos that I want. You can make custom tattoos. So you can send a photo and say what size you want and they'll send that to you. I did that for one of them because this is the one I know that I definitely want. I think I wanted a bit more of like a er rainbow instead of like a er rainbow, if you know what I mean. This is a bit too like wide instead of a bit higher. This is the only one I know that I definitely want. So I got that one custom and then and the rest, I just got cute little random photos. Let me show you what I got. Oh my god, I got two rainbows. I didn't know that. It's kind of stunning. I need to find my confirmation email because I'm pretty sure this is the Cancer like constellation. Actually, my necklace has it. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I got the Cancer star sign constellation. Why does the word constellation not sound right in my mouth? You know people get like Pisces energy, Sag energy. I'm not about to go and get Cancer energy. Like, I feel like Cancer is the worst star sign to me purely because you just can't like make Keep your personality. <laughs> anyway, but this is kind of cute. So I don't know why it sends two of them for everything, but two of them. <laughs> Struggling to focus, but these flowers, a woman in some swimmers kneeling down, which I think is so cute. We have a little torso of a woman's body with flowers coming out of her brain, <laughs> out of her head. Why, why does brain sound so gross? I feel like this one kind of gives me the energy of the tattoo that I do have. <laughs> It's so bad. I got some little universes and moons and stars. I don't know if I'm going to keep it all together or like cut that up. I'm hands doing a pinky promise. This is very Katia Milan back like seven years ago, but kind of a vibe. And then I bought this big pack just of like sticker ones just for shits and gigs really. So I don't even know which ones of this I actually want to use. Like they're all a bit cringe, but like it's not really for the photo. It's just to see what my body looks like with tattoos. I'm scared. They're literally temporary. Stress less. Maybe I'll do a little one to to start off with and then we can do a rainbow or something a bit bigger like should i put a little star like just cut out the star let's do the smallest one possible first on my wrist somewhere ah! am i a tattoo artist right now should i need to shave that a little okay peel off the clear bit why am i scared one two 
three, 14, 15. Wet cloth, 30 seconds. I was also like never even allowed to put on temporary tattoos as a kid. So this just feels so against the law. Oh my gosh, I have a tattoo. Take me off the roster. <laughs> Oh, why is it kind of cute? It literally looks like a freckle, but it is a little star. Cute. Okay, should I? Should we try the rainbow? Ah! The rainbow scares me because it's what I really want, so I actually really care about it. The rest I don't. I'm thinking the back of my arm here. I think like just above my elbow. Yeah, okay. Okay. Ah! I'm being so ridiculous. I love a little rainbow tattoo because I feel like it can just mean so many things and just like means a lot to me. So I hope that I like this because I will be getting it. I'm also just excited to go to a nice tattoo place with great artists who really actually care about it and it being a fine line because my tattoos are far too thick. It's actually a bit ridiculous. 30 seconds is up. Oh my god. That really feels like a tattoo. Oh my god, it's just it? like the paper is empty now. Oh my gosh. It's literally so little. Can you even see it on camera? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Very hard to get in the right spot because I'm doing it myself. I feel like it should be over a bit more. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just getting used to where I want it to be permanently. Why is it cute? I actually like it. Does it look a bit random just like right there on my arm? Oh my gosh. I feel like I want to put something here, but I don't know which thing. That feels really big. <laughs> should I do the pinky promise? Okay, you've sold me. I feel like this is very niche, but if there's anyone watching this vlog who's made it to the end and has gotten laser hair removal on their arms, like have naked arms, like no hair on your arms, do you regret it or would you recommend it? That's all I wanted to say. Like, I wonder if people are gonna see me for the rest of the week and like think that they're real. I don't know, I just see girls with tattoos and like, oh, you're so attractive. But like, for some reason I am not allowed. Like, why do I gaslight myself like that? Okay, that's 30 seconds. Ooh. Whoa, I don't kind of like it. Oh my gosh. I really like that placement actually. Ah! Take me off the roster. Yeah, now that I've started, I'm just like, I want to go wild and crazy. I might do a few more, but I'm just going to leave you alone for now because I've talked your ear off for so long. Okay, it's quite a few hours later and I have finished applying all of my tattoos. I'm obsessed with the Pinky Promise one on my inner elbow. I'm obsessed with the placement. I'm kind of thinking when these all wear off, I'm going to try the rainbow here and see what it looks like because I just really like this position. I just like keep looking down on it and just like loving it. So I feel like I'll get something here, whether it's the rainbow or something else, not sure. I also put the rest of the space little packet there which I actually really enjoy. I've done the flowers here, which again, I really like this position and I love how fine lined the flowers are. I feel like the rest are quite thick, but the space and the flowers are very fine line and I love it so much. <laughs> I also put three along here, which like literally just for shits and gigs, but I don't like how it looks, but like they're just there. And then I obviously have my rainbow at the back of my elbow. Oh, I put some on my ankles. I don't want to show too much on my feet, but I put the little paper plane down there. I feel like I kind of hate it, so I probably won't get one on my inner ankle. This one I think is so cute. It's on my outer ankle. It's a little message in a bottle. A little Taylor Swift reference. And the last one I put on is a little popsicle. <laughs> it's a little ice block, and I actually really like that position. I feel like I might get a little shell or a sun or something here because I really like this position. I love that you'll see it when I'm like taking mirror selfies and I don't see it most of the time. Like I can't see it when I do this at all. Um, you only see it when like I'm in a mirror. So I actually really like them. These temporary tattoos did exactly what I wanted them to. They've made me feel so much more at ease being able to trial out the positions that I want them. So it makes me so excited. Just have a few more months of waiting before I actually go and get them. But thank you for doing it with me and hanging out. Just felt like I was in my bathroom putting on little tattoos with a friend and I loved it. But I'm gonna end off this vlog here. I love you so much and I will see you next week. Bye.